The Lotus case concerns a criminal jurisdiction regarding a collision on the high seas where a French ship collided with a Turkish ship. So the collision caused the Turkish ship to sink and the death of the Turkish crew. The French ship sailed to Turkey where the French captain was arrested and he was charged with manslaughter. In 1926, Turkey and France requested the Permanent Court of International Justice to decide if Turkey's exercise of jurisdiction amounted to a violation of international law and whether Turkey had violated Article 15 of Lausanne Lausanne Convention. The main issue is, could Turkey exercise its jurisdiction over this French national under international law? In 1927, the court held that there is no rule of international law granting exclusive jurisdiction to flat states in respect of high seas collision. The court also said that the rules of law binding open states emanate from their own free will. As the relevant findings of the court establishing jurisdiction, does Turkey need to support its assertion of jurisdiction using an existing rule of international law is the mere absence of the provision preventing the exercise of jurisdiction enough. The first principle of the Lotus case. A state cannot exercise its jurisdiction outside of its territory unless international treaty or customary law permits it to do so. This is what we call the first principle of the Lotus case. The second principle of the Lotus case, within its territory, a state may exercise its jurisdiction that is no specific rules of international law permitting to do it so. Criminal Jurisdiction Territory Jurisdiction, the Lotus case is also significant in that the court that a state would have directed jurisdiction even the crime was committed outside of its territory. Today we call this subjective territory jurisdiction. In order for subjective territory jurisdiction, one must prove the element of the crime and the actual crime entirely inseparable. If it's the constituent element was absent, the crime will not have happened. The customary international law of the Lotus case. A significant principle in developing customary international law can be found in the Lotus case. French had claimed that because states typically only prosecute before the flag state, jurisdictional dispute on collision cases are rarely heard in criminal cases. French contended that this lack of indictment indicates a favorable ruling in collision related customary law. In other words, Opinion juries is reflected in states' omissions as well as their action when those omissions are motivated by a view that the state in question is required by law to refrain from acting in a specific way.